Good one. <laughs> make sure I charge my Garmin. Make sure I've charged my lights. Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving. Nothing compares to the thrill. Underprepared for the hills. I used to get wheels on air. Now I put air in my wheels, change that tune, train and cruise, chains been lewd, pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack, but then my pace improves. Bars and cadence are strong, now my legs up, my cadence are long. It's about time we do this, it's the cycle in tattooist. What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog and I'm a bit rusty because I ain't done this in a while. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Unfortunately, I'm back at home and as you can see, it's pretty grey and miserable out there. Oh, it's actually not there. This is annoying. It's grey. It's grey that way. I pointed it at the one bit of blue sky. <laughs> right, anyways, on with today's video. back in the UK after three weeks away in the States and I had an absolutely amazing time. But as I say, I've been greeted with uh, some pretty shocking weather, quite typical of Britain, I suppose. So to get myself over some holiday blues, I figured we'd do something a little bit different and let's have some fun. And something fun starts with some fun kit. Here we go. As promised, check out this wild kit. <laughs> Man, pink to make the boys wink. So this is the Map and Bleach Design Works collaboration kit. And yeah, it is it's pretty out there, but I absolutely love it. And quite fitting for what I'm doing today because, well, I don't quite know whether I'm road cyclist or mountain biker right now. So I'm here at Hadley Country Park and that is actually where they held the Olympic mountain biking when they hosted the Olympics here in the UK. And it's a pretty cool place. I mean, especially when the sun's out like it is right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyways, let's get to it. hard work than I thought. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh dear. Just not my day today, but bike's looking pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny how a uh, road bike can be all of a sudden transformed into a gravel bike just with some tires. <laughs> so that is actually my second puncher. In about 20 minutes worth of riding, I actually went home and then came back to the same point to finish the clip. And then I got another puncher, <laughs> literally 50 meters down from where I just got the last one. So is this uh, all part of the gravel fun? Let's take the... Uh... Oh, get away from me, bike. Get away from me, bike. That's it. Good girl. Keep going. I'm just moving away from the cows. <laughs> yeah, I'm just moving away from the cows because, uh, well, they freak me out a little bit, if I'm honest. But yeah, I don't really fancy uh, getting trampled by a cow whilst to try and fix me puncture. Anyways, I'm going to quickly chuck my bit in the tube in, hope for the best, and see if I can actually get through this one run. <laughs> oh God. All fun and games. Uh, 
Oh dear. Another puncture. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> you can't say I didn't try. <laughs> Looks like this video is going to be a bit of a short one. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I've just about changed enough inner tubes for one day. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got a tubeless set up. So I've had to make do. But uh, obviously, yeah. I can see why everyone runs tubeless on gravel now. <laughs> well, I, I say that. I, I don't know if you guys caught my video before where I entered battle on the beach, but I managed all right then. But obviously there wasn't anything as extreme <laughs> on uh, battle on the beach. It was a bit more subdued, I suppose. Trying to do jumps and stuff like that. Yeah, it's obviously Maybe pushing it a little bit too far. The thing is, I can only fit, what are these? 32C, are they? 33C. So obviously due to this being a road bike, yeah, I can only fit 33s in. I could probably fit ever so slightly bigger if I wanted to, but it's uh, not worth the risk to be honest. So 33C means to get some grip, you do need to run quite low pressures well, I think I was running about 35 PSI. And for anyone that knows about tubeless and tubes and all that jazz, well, you'll know that running inner tubes at 35 PSI is not a good idea, generally. Because, well, quite clearly, you get a lot of pinch flats. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just quickly gonna take you to one of my favorite views in the whole of this area. It just means I've got to walk up another bloody hill. It's actually turned out to be quite a nice day, considering how miserable it was this morning. And it even rained just before I got out on the bike. But that's the old uh, British summertime for you. You never know what you're gonna get. Four seasons in one day, as they say. So I think I'm gonna leave this video here. I'm sorry it was a little bit anticlimactic after a couple of weeks away, after my big trip. But now I am back. I just wanted to touch base for you guys and say that I'll be resuming more regular weekly content from now on. I'm definitely going to be giving myself a break from the daily content because even though I did enjoy doing those America vlogs, I'm going to be honest, it was a lot of work and I did find it quite stressful at times. But having said that, I did have an absolute blast in the States and for anyone that's thinking about going there for their next cycling holiday, I 100% recommend it. And the week that I didn't show you where I was in Portland catching up with my friends, I had an amazing time there as well. Really, really recommend that you check that out as well. So anyways, I look forward to getting back to some sort of a routine and hitting you guys with the weekly uploads. So make sure you tune in and see what I get up to next. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh,